Look at this algebraic expression. 3x plus 4y minus 5c plus 7. How many terms are there in this expression? The parts of the algebraic expression that are connected by plus and minus signs are called terms of the expression. In this expression, there are four terms, 3x, 4y, minus 5c, and 7. In a term, the number appearing with a variable is called a coefficient. So, in the term 3x, 3 is the coefficient. In the term 4y, 4 is the coefficient. In the term minus 5c, minus 5 is the coefficient, whereas 7 is a constant. We just learned what an algebraic expression contains. Now, let's see how we can multiply the same variable several times. Can you write 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 in the exponential form? In the exponential form, it is written as 4 to the power 4. How do we write 7 to the power 3 in the expanded form? This is simply equal to 7 times 7 times 7. Similarly, in algebra, c to the power 4 means multiplying c 4 times. And g multiplied by itself 5 times means g to the power 5. So, 6 times a multiplied by itself 3 times times d multiplied by itself 5 times can be written as 6 a to the power 3 d to the power 5. This term is in the exponential form. We can also call this the index notation. How is all of this useful in our daily lives? Think of an example where you add two or more like things. If Sarah has two tennis balls and Asif has three tennis balls, how many tennis balls are there in total? There will be a total of five tennis balls. If we have four chairs and four tables, can we say we have eight chairs in total or eight tables in total? No, we cannot say this because tables and chairs are both different objects. From this, we can see that we can only add or subtract like objects. In algebra, we do the same. We can only add or subtract like terms. Terms are like if they have same variables with the same exponents. Otherwise, they are called unlike terms. 4ab, minus 8ab, and 3ab are all like terms, since all the three terms have the same variables and power of the variables. Remember that coefficients of the variables can be different for like terms. Look at these two terms. Do you think they are like terms? Both terms have the same variables u and s. Also, in both terms, u is raised to the power 3 and s is raised to the power 2. So, both variables have the same exponent in both terms. Therefore, they are like terms. Now, let's take a look at some examples of unlike terms. Take these two terms for instance. They have the same variables but different exponents. The second set of terms have the same exponents but different variables. These are both unlike terms. Time for an exercise. Write down the coefficient of 7a squared, c to the power 5. We know that the coefficient is the number that is attached to the variables in a term. Here, the coefficient is 7. a and c are the variables. Write down three like terms of 4xy squared. 
For like terms, the variables and their exponents must be the same, but coefficients can be different. So, like terms of 4xy squared can be 2xy squared, minus 4xy squared, and just 6xy squared. Today we learned that an algebraic expression consists of different terms separated by plus or minus signs. The numbers attached to the variables are called coefficients. The numbers without any variables are called constants. The terms with the same variables and the same exponent are like terms. Otherwise, they are unlike terms.